In this lesson, you will learn how to populate pipeline data in your ALM Octane workspace. For demonstration purposes, we will use our Postman REST API collection pack for ALM Octane from the Microfocus Marketplace. You can download it directly on the App Delivery Marketplace. Here you can click on the ALM Octane Postman collection pack for REST API and download the pack by clicking on this link. Once downloaded, you can see the whole pack in your Postman application. Make sure you have the environment configured with the information you want to use for your project. And now let's get started. First, authenticate. Now you can see I am authenticated to the project of my choice, which is configured in the Microfocus ALM Octane environment. And as a next step, what I would like to do is I would like to create a new CI server using the REST API and then uh, enter the pipelines, execute the pipeline, as well as push test results. So let's see how this can be done. Under the resources pipelines, you will see a subcategory or sub resource uh, CI servers. And there is a sample provided for create CI server. And this is also parameterized. So you can see here we have a CI instance ID, which is also configurable from the environment uh, variables. You can see here the CI instance ID is uh, configured here as well. So you have to enter exactly the data you want to have uh, as a CI instance ID. So basically you can enter a number, but also any kind of unique string um, or combination of number and strings. It's completely up to you. Same goes for the job CI ID, which we will need uh, later on to create pipelines and the build CI ID, which we will need uh, later on to create the builds. And the epoch time, um, so we are also always up to date when we execute the resources in order to create the pipelines um, that they are showed in the correct time frame. So let's get started. Um, we will first create a new CI server using this ID which is config and we will call it custom CI. Let's say this is for maybe a SAP deployment tool. We have here ERP as a server type. This is something you can define. It is fixed in my request. And here under the project SAP demo CI servers, I just see I have a Jenkins connected. It was from previous uh, demos. But I would like to enter now the custom CI. So let's see. I will just send out this request, this post request, and it should create a new CI server. It did. So we see 201 created, and the CI server is entered. I can go back into my workspace, press refresh, and I can see the CI server is created. As this is not an active connection, um, you can see it is not connected, yeah, it's uh, red, but still you have pushed the data into LM Octane and now you can further um, implement the pipelines module. So this was the first uh, step and now we go to the next step where we will enter the pipeline here in the pipelines module. So as a next step, I will open the pipelines and say post new pipeline. And you can also see here exactly step by step. First sign in, then create CI server, now create a new pipeline. And for the pipeline, it's also fully parameterized. If you want, you can change this name. Um, it's up to you. But this job CI ID is configured here under environment uh, variables which we have provided with this collection pack and we will hit now send. So 
So it will create a new pipeline in ALM Octane. We can see 200, it's created, new pipeline is added. I can press refresh here and I can see here the pipeline is added. It includes currently no run, which is fine because this was just entered now. So now in order to start the pipeline, we will now use the next resource, which is the builds. And here you have two kind of uh, triggering the pipeline. So first of all, if you want to uh, start your pipeline, make sure you say um, it's running. So you have here again the body. And in the body, you can define exactly those kind of parameters we have defined already for the CI server, the instance ID, the job ID from the new pipeline, you can see here, then the build ID for this uh, resource, as well as the epoch time of the build. And what you can see here is that the status is uh, running, now, even result is success, but so far we go with status running and enter a new build, which will be simulated as it is running even there is nothing uh, going on so this is a good example how you can integrate your external uh, ci tools in alm octane you see i have started a new build nightly one it is the date of 2016 okay my epoch time is not correct but still um you can see here that this was provided and as a next step what I can do now is this will keep on running. Yeah, I can now say, okay, I would like to push test results. And while it is running, I have defined here the next step already. This is the format I would like to push the test results on. Again, we have in this XML, uh, this time it's a XML. We have the build server ID, the job ID, as well as the build ID we used in the previous request and uh, I can define here some test field uh, in this template as well as the test runs of the test cases. Yeah, I have also entered the build epoch time here so we see it in the right time frame even my build epoch time is not correct. Um, so that's about it. I can send it out and it will should basically receive the results. So basically they are queued now and i can go in octane and press here on refresh it should basically show me here the test results they are uh, now in but still you can see that the pipeline is running uh, and it will run as long as i don't stop it via rest api or at least uh, after a timeout which is around 24 hours i guess and here I have the next one where I can use the build which is currently running and fire it with a status finished and uh, it will stop the pipeline. So let's do it. I fired it up. Let's say it's okay. And if I refresh here, so it is green. I can see it already. It's not running anymore, but still we need some time so it gets updated. And you can see it's updated now and you have all the different test results as part of your pipeline um, completely pushed from external uh, resource uh, using the REST API. In my case, I used Postman and the collection pack, but you can use exactly those kind of requests to insert pipeline data, including additional information such as uh, test cases and results and build your own pipeline if there is a pipeline we are not uh, supporting or CI server we are not supporting. So the ways to do it is uh, you sign in first in order to get connected, then you create a CI server using the CI server uh, post job. Then you go and do the creation of the pipeline, yeah, which is then here under the pipelines, create new pipeline. Then you start the build using the builds put um, trigger new pipeline run state running you post test results yeah, which are completely configured and prepared and then you stop your pipeline run so that's basically it how you can make use of the rest api 
in order to insert your pipeline into LM Octane.